Okay, we're just about to get ready to go here for the final of the Norwegian Open 2018. Give us a shout, we'll try to answer some for you while the final's being played. And James Trott leading off using a Taylor Blaze. And a pretty good start. Yeah, great start from James there. James, with all the experience, obviously will be used to this. Not perhaps so much the cameras, perhaps, but the new experience for Benny. It'll be interesting to see how he settles into it. Yeah, just a very quick word with, with Benny before this match and just said, just keep doing what you've been doing because it's obviously been working. James looking to just head, well, just unlucky there, just suck them down. I would be happy with that result, actually. Benny reaching. Yeah, just playing a good line for it, too. Yeah, yep. got a result. Good result. James obviously has already played on the show map this weekend, Benny's first time, so, uh, but seems to have settled into the line straight away. Yeah, as I say, I don't think it's that uh, unfamiliar now to all the players. All the players do talk, and those that have been playing on it have asked other players some advice. So James just looking to draw on a slightly narrow line to the jack. Pace is very yes. good. Will it hold on? No, I don't think so. Oh, no, just dropped off the edge, so unfortunate there. So still one to Benny. So going down the, this hand, obviously, for those of you who have not been watching, it has been swinging quite a lot this side, but wants to... Uh, just the wrong side of James's. If it had been the other side, he would have been in for two. That's probably where not playing on this too much uh, today. Uh, Benny, just not knowing to be reaching on that hand, James will certainly know that that's what you need to do. And I think that's what he'll be looking to do here. Bowl's a good result. Yep, so a bit of weight from James. Wants the ball. Yeah, good result. A strong shot for James, really, that type of type of shot. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, he's, he's plenty of room there, but again, Benny's not played. I think he's switching, playing the forehand. Yeah, just looking to draw across. He's also got his own ball to play off. Or will it stop? Oh, yes. it has. <laughs> so, you can say that was the perfect weight. <laughs> yes, in the end, yeah, the way it's... Uh, so, a good start for Benny. Gets the one shot on the first end. So, you can see here, just plays his bowl on the right line. And it just holds on the edge of the mat. And mm -hmm. takes the one shot. I think both of these players, whoever wins, will be a popular winner. Uh, Benny seems very popular amongst the, the local players here. Yeah, yeah, he does. He'll have good support from the Swedes and I'm sure the Norwegians too. And James, obviously very popular on the tour, has been playing here for many years. <coughs> Just short from Benny with the first bowl. So a good line here from James with his first bowl. I think it needs to run a bit. Yeah, no, it's got pretty close. It's a good lead. Be interesting to see if um, Benny can keep up the consistent form he's shown this weekend. You know James will be there and thereabouts. Yeah, James is a very seasoned campaigner now. Been bowling a long time been involved in lots of major finals over his career. Uh, James just looking to edge pass there but just just got too much of the ball but might sit too but it's fairly open. 
And Bunny switching to the other side now, so you can get a better view of the jack. Just wants to reach through. Might just track on that line. Well, he got his own bowl up. So yeah, got a result. A clap from James. Slightly fortunate, but uh, he was reaching, so got a result. Yeah, yeah. Never up, never in, as I say. Absolutely. So James just looking to reach as well. Uh, just caught his own bowl full. Just wanted the edge off of that, really. So, of course, with these two players in the final, we will have a new champion for this year. Stephen Proctor winning the last year from England and Mark Beattie from Ireland the year before. Yeah, to say, either of these players will be popular, whoever wins. Yeah. Another good bowl from Benny. Showing no nerves, really, it seems. You see Benny's bowl just coming in. Off of James's back bowl and a good result. James just eyeing up his options here. James looking very relaxed, hands in pockets as it was earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a, one of the most calm people I think you'll ever see on the mat. Be interesting to see what hand James plays here. You'd probably favour the, the forehand just to look at to get under his own bowl. Yeah, yeah he's, he's going to play a bit of weight. It's a good hand, this, to play this sort of shot on as well. Oh, <laughs> as you missed there, just clip the block. So he takes out the two. Yep, two it is, so two to Benny. So Benny leads 3-0 after two of the 12 ends. Here's the arena, the crowd sat just in front of us, enjoying the uh, the match. Yeah, good crowd in tonight. I think pretty much most of the players that are, are not playing are, are stayed, which is great. Yeah. Some of them I can see watching the live feed even though the match is live in front of them. <laughs> that's good. I'd like and to it's think it's our commentary they're listening to. Well, yeah, we think that's <laughs> probably definitely the... the, uh, the, uh, the right answer. So a good lead from Benny. Touch on the jack. And James looking to reach and be aggressive already. Yeah, I think so. Perhaps just looking to change the way the match is going. Benny's obviously drawing pretty well. Might just be a bit narrow. I got enough of the bowl, so a bowl wider would have would have suited. But he's obviously looking to definitely change the uh, the way the game's playing. Yeah, I think he just wants to try and settle settle himself down, and obviously taking the jack and ditch would have been perfect for him. Yeah. So yeah, well, he's leaving a tempter again for James. But Dang. obviously the toucher in the ditch is the that's the, the danger, danger now I think yeah James can I think the same pace he played is actually the right the right uh, yeah it's just drawing just yeah. drawing so ignoring what we're yeah. thinking <laughs> that's a good bowl yeah I mean of course losing his first bowl again playing weight you have a tendency if, if, if you're missing obviously you're losing your bowl so early days yeah but keeping bowls on the mat probably is going to help his cause more absolutely Benny switching hands here. Yeah, the ball just just fading away. I think that's James' best uh, best chance in this match to force Benny onto that hand that he he's not used to. He's not played on this mat, so uh, it does uh, it does punish you if you're under the under the line. Yeah, just wants to run a bit here, James. But yeah, just a touch short of pace. And you think really he could have been reaching there with the, the bowl to rest on, and obviously his back bowl. Well, looking at that angle there, it was close for shot actually. Yeah, you'd favour Benny's probably, but uh, I 
good view from the, above the player there just to see the uh, delivery. Yeah, he's on a good road, so just certainly reach him. the ball. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, that's good. A better shot. Unlucky not to have got the jack full there, but uh, got a, got a good result. It's probably a better one actually. It's it harder is. for James to get to that. Yeah, for sure. So, final bowl of the third end. Just draw in. Yeah. His own bowl just to rest off or just draw the jack clean. That's a good effort. Over the pace. Just a f yeah, unlucky. Just a fraction over. So, it will be just the one to Bunny. The three ends in. 4 0 to Bunny. So, a good start for for the slightly inexperienced player. Yeah, absolutely. I Benny started really well here. No nerve shown at all. So, um, to see that Cecil Dillon's asked the same question as earlier. Who do we fancy? Well, uh, you know, the way the game started, Benny's certainly showing why he's in this final. Yeah, Benny 4-0 up. I'm going Benny. That's it. <laughs> well, not, not sitting on the fence this time. <laughs> That's probably put the nail in Benny's coffin now, though. Well. So, as we said, guys, if any questions, just let us know. And, uh, again, please feel free to share this post on your social media. Benny is tending to stick to the swinging hand, which is a, an interesting... Yeah. Very interesting tactic. I do think this hand, this side of the green that uh, James is playing, is the better side. It is. Good line from James. Just, uh, you know, foot, foot more pace was good there, but uh, still early days. Yeah, good switch here from Benny. Yeah, much better by Very good. Very good. Interesting attire. Benny's wearing shorts, but also a hooded jumper. Might be the, the in thing. Yeah. So James now just looking to draw close, looking for that touch of extra pace, which he certainly got here. Yeah, unlucky, just obviously got the touch, but was always fading away from the jack. You can see the marker fill there, just putting spray chalk on the bowl there, as you can see. Chance for Benny here, you can tuck the jack away, or even rest James's last bowl. Yeah, well, that's a very touch. good ball. He really is showing no nerves and uh, he's playing very well. So, yeah, James knows this is a bit overweight, but yeah, any balls wide there are just hanging out a fraction, especially if you're a fraction over pace. So a chance now for Benny to really pile the pressure on. Uh, I think the perfect bowl for Benny here is resting James's bowl that's just short. He's around yeah, it again though. It's coming nice. Well, that's not yeah. too bad. That's left a little bit of a shoulder, but not all bad. Good appreciation from the crowd. And you can see he just wants to come up, maybe nudge a jack, but just on the high side of it, so he gets a push off the other bowl. So there is room for James to rest in here. It's, I don't know whether he would look to attack this. There's not really much of a back option for James. No. I can tell you that James is playing with the Taylor Blaze. I think uh, the bowls that Benny's using are certainly Taylor's, but I can tell I you. I think they look in like internationals. Internationals, yeah. yeah. So James is in the area, doesn't want the gap really. <sighs> He's not. He's nudged the jack enough, so it could only be two. But a touch unfortunate there for uh, James. He's indicating he's going to take the two away. Yeah, so it's just the two. Yep. So two shots to uh, Benny. So that's six nil after four ends, and uh, it's been a strong start for the Swede. Yeah, I think Benny's uh, really, really showing um, why he's in this final. You can just see James's bowl coming up. 
flicks off the jack and uh, continues through the gap but with his other bowl there it uh, obviously reduced the count to two. I think James will want to get on this scoreboard this end. Yeah it's uh, a third of the way in so uh, I don't think he'll be panicking just yet. I don't think James knows what that word means. Certainly one of the calmest players on the mat you'll ever see. can tell you that in the plate final, Mitchell Young is 6-4 up against Steve Proctor after six ends. And in the Shield final, Pontus Gordstam is 4-2 up against Gunnar Frensen after four ends. And in the bronze medal match, it's all square four all with Jack Pye and Elliot James. That's so after five ends. Great reply from James there. I think he needs that just to settle himself down. As he really wants to get on this scoreboard this end. Yeah, but Benny looks close again here. Oh, just on the, the outside. This is unlucky. Good. James good. has got to be careful here. Doesn't really want to open the jack here now. No, a good, a good head here for James to just arrive to, just on the draw. Yeah, it's played a good line. Bowl's just pulling up short though. Not all bad. That will no, block the view. That'll be in the eye line a little bit. But everything uh, to reach for there, really. It's the, the one thing you, you didn't need to be with short. short. Yeah. And Benny with his internationals, he'll know he'll get some turn from those now. So, all about the pace, really, here. Just, good. Yeah. Yeah, Perfect. what a good ball. Might be one down still, but actually, it's uh, not made it any easier for James. Pretty good weight as well he played at that. Phil just checking, you see just coming, slipping past James's short bowl, push on the jack. And yeah, he could be one on could with his back bowl well, there yeah. looking at that shot, so but again J James has got a got a shot. If he's slightly aggressive here he can play on to his own shot the uh, short bowl and uh, push the back one out and sneak in the gap. Definitely worth arriving with a, a good couple of feet here. Yeah, this ball just needs to get around. Oh, he's unlucky. Just pulled into his own bowl, but again, still a chance. So what's Benny going to look to do here now? Just f fill this gap? Yeah, just dropping up, I think. Just uh, just, a, just sitting onto the James's bowl, making it very difficult, making it hard to, for James to play down and push away the, the ball we think could be shot. Looks like he's playing the backhand now. Interesting yeah, there, Michelle. Michelle. Maybe he's just looking to sort of tip round his short ball. Yeah, it's just a little bit short on pace, so but he might again cover it. Well. Mm, yeah, you can tell by James's face. You couldn't see it on shot there, but he's uh, not too impressed with how that bowl finished, but no, a bit, a bit fortunate from Benny just to block off the the natural shot that James would have had in there. But then he did have a, an opportunity to play it with his last one and miss. So yeah, he did. You yeah. know, you, you've got to take these opportunities in a final. Absolutely right. So James just having a look now to see who shot. I mean, from the angle we saw from up here, it certainly looked like it was possibly uh, Benny's bowl. But uh, James is studying so. There you go, you can just see it almost, yeah, just, just short and weight, drops down, but his bowl then finishing pretty much in the line that James would want to take. He's dominating that he's playing weight here, he's just letting Phil know that he's going to be arriving at this. I don't know, he's not playing it, so... Confidence that he could be holding the shot. Yep. This will be a test of how good his eyes are. Well, we'll Craig. see. Yeah. Certainly difficult to tell from even from the overhead camera. Yeah, it's a uh, tough one to call. Moving the front bowl, so it's just for the single shot. So uh, Phil will get the calipers out. Steady hands required. Yeah, just uh, wedging up the... Uh, the jack to make sure there's no movement. 
I'll just give you an update on the scores from the other games while we're watching this. Just wait for, uh, we'll have to wait for this uh, end to be confirmed. Uh, okay, to, to check the scores, we'll do that. Good view of the bowls there, you can see the difference. Benny playing with the internationals, that's been confirmed, so uh, they do take a slightly wider line than James's. Yeah, so it's one to James. James's eye is obviously pretty good. <laughs> it was one to him, so he's on the scoreboard in the fifth end. But Benny still leads 6 1. Yes. So those scores from the other matches in the plate final, it's all square, 6 all between Steve Proctor and Mitchell Young after eight ends. All square uh, in the Shield final, Pontus Gordstam and Gunnar Franson, 4 all after six ends. And all square in the uh, bronze medal match between Jack Pye and Elliot James after seven ends. So you're saying those games are pretty tight then, Clive? I'm saying there's nothing between them. <laughs> Excellent. So a bit of a gap in this game, though, here on the uh, show mat in Sheehan. But uh, James is now on the scoreboard. And that should settle him down, actually. I think, uh, again, as much as you might not show from the outside that he's not nervous, I think there is always in a big final. It's, uh, there's always some nerves. Yeah, a toucher from James's first bowl. Just pinched the line slightly. Benny not looking too happy with that. And again, yeah, it's just... Just swinging across, but again, sticking to that swinging side yeah, of the mat. Yeah, he's not found that actually coming this way. I'm surprised he's not you know, stuck to the, the hand up because he's been forced to change to the backhand and he's he's played it well. So yeah. uh, that might be with a little bit of inexperience does come in. Yeah, absolutely. Well, James just pushing this one out, but just pulling off the side. And I think because James hasn't got a fixed stance as such, he, he does have to sort of he does. Flirt with the edge at times, especially on that hand. Well, yeah, obviously playing forehand on the swinging side of the four draws, that's probably the, the hardest to play. A good adjustment from Benny, and uh, draws a good toucher. So, let's see if James can adjust. Obviously with the movement of the jack across, it doesn't have to be quite as wide now. Looks to be on a fairly good line. Yeah, we're bold. Yep, that is yeah, the shot. Shot, shot wood. You see the ball comes in just on the narrow side, but doesn't travel too far, so it sits in for shot. So again, Benny uh, obviously sticking with the forehand side. Just wants to wrestle on James's bowl. Looks pretty good. Very good. Yeah, well bowled. <laughs> really is showing no nerves, it would seem. And again, James under just a little bit of pressure. Uh, so I've not seen Benny bowl much at all. So he's only played in two previous events. So uh, certainly is playing very well. He's not leaving much for James to play out here. No, I mean, again, the way the bowls are positioned, it's almost looking like it's forcing James to play down the backhand with, with perhaps a bit of weight. It's, it's yeah. yeah, he is, yeah. James obviously does prefer a drawing game, but the way Benny's are positioning his bowls, it's making James just play through. Just just kicked out a fraction, but obviously Benny's short bowl came up, so... Tell you what, if I was Benny, I would be playing this on the forehand, reaching, you've got your bowl onto James's, James's yeah. and we've got the jack. Yeah, again, see, a bit of an, bit, a bit of an experience, it looks like he's just drawing, he'll be thinking about just drawing it through the gap, but again, yeah. the danger here, with this bowl coming up, if he moves the jack across, he could give it to James. Uh, well, he's probably made three of it anyway. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> Again, appreciation for the crowd for a good bowl. You can see he just dies on the narrow side. Yep, definitely and three. Then, yeah, so it is a three. 
So it's a 9-1 lead for Benny Schorben of Sweden. And I don't think anyone would have probably predicted that before no. the start of the game. I know we didn't. So we're halfway through. And uh, Benny in a strong position. So the question now is obviously as we get towards the end of the match and he's still in the lead, will the, the getting over the line nerves kick in for Benny? No, I don't think so. I don't think... I've uh, been very impressed with Benny so far. Yeah, I mean, he's uh, certainly showing no nerves at all, really. And yeah, James is switching the game about now, looking to run at the jack. Yeah, it's a good, good ball, that. Yeah, well, that's certainly that's not being beaten. Pretty spot on, you would say. Benny obviously has a has a touch on the map but it'll be difficult to get that into the position of challenging for uh, Shotwood. But James obviously feeling he needs to change something up. Uh, a few of the guys on Facebook have been saying just that, that he, you know, James needed to change it about a bit. James just drawing down. That might be a fraction narrow if it just gets past the bolt. Need to use the bolt. Yeah, yeah just yeah, a couple of bowls narrow on the line, but uh, weight was very good. If you can adjust that next bowl, you'd fancy he'd have a chance of drawing a couple. And Benny, I'm sure, will want to get one a bit closer here. Is that a wide mm. line? Just going to need to get past his toucher. Well, he's pushed it up. Actually, with the, with his bowl being where it was, I, I probably would have gone for the touch. I try to just put it a bit closer. It's gone closer as it is, but uh, yeah, this has narrowed the angle for James a bit here. Yeah, now, yes. to to thread his way through again. He's on a good line. Will it stop? Oh, it's unlucky, really. Two two great efforts, to be fair to him there. Definitely be going for the toucher now. Well, that's definitely not made it any easier. So we know James is winning in the end, but can he make it too? Again, it is a bit tricky. He's thread the eye of the needle time. Yeah, again, I like the forehand dropping down onto the toucher and just yeah, sitting down for two, but yeah. he's trying to play this it's close here, actually. Oh, oh, just, just unlucky. Ball. So... Change of tactic worked. He did manage to get the jack into the ditch, so he picks up the shot. Yeah, just wanted this bowl coming down just to stay a bit higher than that, but just flicked off. So, just the one for James. But uh, I wonder if we'll see that being the tactic now from James. Will he go for the jack with his first bowl? Yeah, we'll be interested to see. We'll see where Phil sets the jack. Well, he's going long. He has set it to the long position, so perhaps James will fancy going for this now. So 9-2 after seven ends. The offence here that James would need to pick up a, a two or three here really just to get him right back into this. Yeah, and the question will be, you know, if he misses it, will he go again? So he's playing at a fair pace. Yeah, he has got it. Obviously it's just split it slightly. Um, Benny's drawing to the line wasn't bad last end. Obviously got a couple of hits off his own bowl, but James was close. James was close with two of his bowls, just fell off obviously. But uh, what well, I think the where the jack's finished in there, it's going to be playing on the this backhand coming back, which is not as uh, as swingy as the the, the forehand. Right. So he's probably favours drawing this. Yeah, it's a good bowl from Benny, just uh, ten inches short of the ditch or, or thereabouts. James looking to draw around. Line's very good. It is good here. Needs to finish. Oh, no, probably not quite. It's not a bad bowl, though. Yeah, Phil's uh, indicated that Benny's holding shot, as you can see there.
Just a drawdown from base. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty good bowl, that, because it's blocking off his shot that could have been played into the ditch, and it's difficult to get out on the other hand, or certainly more difficult to get out on the other hand. Yeah, I think we'll just see James arriving, just, just dropping his own bowl over one. Yep. Yep. And, of course, if he is narrow, he could push Benny's second bowl out. No. Well, I've got yeah. a little bit of both. Yeah, you can see here James is just looking to reach his own bowl over, but just gets on the split, turning Benny's up. It has made that bowl more open, but is a very difficult side to play to be able to reach that bowl out. Um, Benny could play an absolute brilliant bowl here on the backhand, drop him round. It's on a high line. Yeah, pace is just a fraction heavy, I fancy. Yeah, yeah just so a bit over. Chance for James here. He can play the forehand, reach in. Yeah, if he bowls it inside out, he can get it to hold uh, quite a while. I don't really think he's got any angle on, on his backhand to get that shot. No. Yeah, you can see, you can see the bowl coming here. Just a bit over from Benny. Definitely oh, enough room there, I think, for James to just push that away. Just might make sure he pushes through this. Phil standing just to cover. So, yeah, the weight's good, but I think it's a bit narrow. Yeah, just was always a bit narrow. So, Benny holding the one, will he look to take that? Or was he going to try for a... Well, he's switching hands, actually, Benny, here, so... Uh, needs to be careful. Yep, just really sending the ball down the mat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's so, a uh, difficult hand to draw at the best of times. It is, so we'll take the one shot. James concedes a one, so Bunny now reaches double figures. 10-2 after eight ends, and looking like a long way back. Yeah, I think uh, James needs to win well at least three of the next four ends here to give himself any opportunity. So as we said earlier, if the match does end in a tie, the players will play a best of three that's a three-end tie break using two bowls only, no touches. But, uh, perhaps that's the target James will look to set himself now. Yes, it's uh, not looking good for him at the moment. I think he's. Well, I he say he's, he probably doesn't know too much about Benny either. Uh, so uh, Benny just settled very, very well early on. Well, that's a good lead from James. Benny obviously just a bit narrow with his first, but that's a good spot for James. I can tell you that in the other matches, in the plate final, Steve Proctor is 9-8 up against Mitchell Young. They're playing the last end now. Ponta Scordstam is 8-4 up against Gunnar Frentzen after nine ends in the Shield final. And Jack Pye is 10-6 up against Elliot James after ten ends in the bronze medal match. So back here on the show mat, and James looking for another good bowl. Thinks it's a bit pacey. Uh, I think it's pretty good. Just a touch over, but yeah, that's good. Now the way Benny's playing, you fancy him just a draw onto these? Yeah, I think he's, again, you know, you've got to look to cover bowl for bowl. Looks a fraction under the line. Going to get the jack, but yeah, it was just always a little bit narrow on line. It's interesting to see he's changed his hand there. The forehand again looked the obvious shot just to drop onto the shot bowl and drop right behind the jack. So much of the same again from James. Again, th he thinks it's a fraction heavy. So a little bit narrow with this bowl, but. Yeah, it's not bad. It, yeah, it's, you not know, bad. The pressure's on Benny now with his uh, final bowl here. He's got plenty to rest on, but it's playing the swinging hand. If he's just under the line, then the bowl will drift away. Yeah, so he's reaching through now. Well, got rid of one, but uh, still two to James, so he must score three here, really. He's got to yeah. take this chance now to get a third bowl in. Yeah, Phil just confirming that James is holding two. Well, I think this will give James confidence he's in now if he does pick up the three, which it looks like he's going to. Yeah. Yep. Simple draw, really. 
So it's a counter three for James. Conceded by uh, Benny. You see, just steady draw. Fairly easy shot for a, a man of James's experience. So takes a three and moves to 10-5 down after nine ends, but now back within five. Yeah, and I think, uh, as I say, it's important again, he just pushes on on this end now. If he does pick up this end as well, I think he feels he's right back in this match, especially if he scores a, a multiple. Yeah, he's looking to run the jack again. Not sure there's enough pace on this bowl. Just, yeah, for that side of the mat, I think that was probably just a bit low on pace. And Benny's sticking to that side. Again, that's just going to be under the jack. What would James do now? Well, he's got a little better to draw, I think. Yeah, I think that's probably a wise move. You know, you three ends to go, you need your bowls on the mat now. It's good here. Yeah, it's a good line. If you're dead weight, it does come back nicely there. Good adjustment, considering he's just played weight, that's uh, pretty good. Yeah, and that's always the argument against going for the jack, it's great when you get it, but when you don't, you've wasted a bowl, so uh, risk and reward. Yeah. So again, Benny with a chance now just to play off the bowl. Line looks pretty good for his, he's close here. Yeah, good ball. Just a bit shy of the jack, so James can still have a chance of pushing that. Just asking who's holding. Yeah, so Phil confirming, as you can see there, Benny holding. And Benny winning the ends here, so he's strong position, five up. James is reaching on this backhand, wants to sit off his own bowl. It's close here, bit of the jack was even better. Yeah, yep. that's a good ball. Great ball. Just came in onto the jack, turned it round the corner. So it turns it back to one, but again, he's got two touches in, in the head now. And Benny's going to play a bit of weight now. So again. I've oh, got a touch on that, so. Yeah, I think he likes the result. Close to get his own out, actually. So yeah. uh, still one to James. So this now leaves James with a bit of decision. Does he look to drag the jack back to try and make a three or a safe two? I think you've got to go with a safe two here. Yeah, still th three ends to play. So a two's good. We we'll leave him only three shots down with two ends to play. What you don't want to do is play the shot for your opponent here and actually leave give you give the opponent the shot. So. I think just drop down for, for two here and put the pressure again back on Benny. Yeah, just saw a replay there of Benny's shot. So moving the head about a bit. So, yeah, it's... Uh, yep, just drawing it on a good line. Yeah, down the backhand again. He found it well the last time. And the pace looks pretty good again. Yeah. It's good, but he has just touched the jack, but I still think it's two. Yeah, yeah, certainly is too. Again, perhaps decisions for Benny now. Will he get caught in the playing to the bowls for that bit extra or just looking to draw to the shot bowl? It's a tricky little shot. Yep. He's what, what he needs to do is decide on the shot and then follow it through. Yeah, he's actually going to play with a bit of weight. The danger so. here is actually taking his own out if he's wide. Yeah. But he's actually, you know, he's played it with a good pace, I think, here. Oh, it's a great result, I think. Just flick the shot bowl, which is nudge the jack out. I uh, don't think he's done enough, though. No, I still James, think he's I think James. James hasn't moved, so he's looking confident. Yep. You can just see here, the bowl comes down, just flicks the shot bowl to push it, but it's not enough as James' bowl falls in for Oops. shot. So it's one to James. Reduces the deficit again to 10-6, two ends to go. And uh, very much now looking for probably a tied game at this point. Well, I think James now definitely needs to win these two these two ends. I think uh, if he scored scores a two or three here, pressure actually will go back to Benny. So uh, 
Is, is he going for the jack again? Probably is. Yep. Yeah, yeah just, just held. Yeah, shake of the head from James there. He knows he had the chance. So, again, similar pattern to the previous end. So Benny again sticking to the uh, slightly swingy side of the mat. Ball's just going to dive under. I think we'll see James come back to a draw again now. I think it's a sensible thing to do here. It's um doesn't want to be wasting balls. Oh, you can is that's and he showed even on that previous end. You know his draw pace was good. This again looks good here. We we'll want it to run a little bit more. Yeah, it's a good bowl from James. Another bowl more would have been perfect, but uh, yeah. of course he's going to be happy with that. can tell you that in the bronze medal match, that Jack Pye won his match against Elliot James, 10-9. We just see Benny's bowl come up, pushes James away. Steve Proctor was victorious in the plate final against Mitchell Young, 10-8. So now the results that are in. Well, James, he had to look to push a jack there. Yeah. But uh, puts himself under a bit of pressure. So as we're reaching the climax of this cup final here in Sheehan in Norway, Benny is holding match lie. This is now James Trott's last bowl of the 11th end. And he needs to score. Yeah, I mean, again, just being positive, that as, as Benny just showed there, there is a gap there, so James wants the jack. Big bowl, this. So he's going down for the jack. Very positive pace to this. Close. Well, yeah, it's a result. Well, I think actually you won't be too disappointed about that. No, he'll definitely take the kill then there, so... Uh, I wonder if we saw James going for the jack. You can see he wants the jack clean into the ditch here. Just gets it on the half. Actually kills it off his other ball. So it's uh, a relieved man. I can tell you that Pontus Gordston won the, uh, the shield, beating Gunnar Frensen. So this is the actual last match in play now. So James has switched length of the jack to a medium now. So I think it's sensible. He's, he's the last couple of ends he's gone for the jack and not got it. And uh, he's drawing so well. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. As you can see here, it's yeah, a good start, good lead ball. Acknowledgement from Benny. Benny just looking to draw, keep the balls close. Just under again on the line. But, uh, that's all he's got to do really, isn't it? Just look to keep the balls close. Keep it close, put the pressure on. And Benny's never been in this situation in a, in a major competition before, so you never know. Yeah, that's a good bowl from James. This is a this is what we didn't see from James earlier on in the match, and Benny was obviously making the most of his opportunities. Yeah, it's almost res you know Benny found it straight away. Was drawing well. But this is going to be close. Yeah, it's a good bowl. <laughs> Certainly changed the dynamic of the head. And uh, James still lying shot, obviously. This is where we might see James go positive on the backhand now, because he has got the jack as an option. If he's tight, he's got his toucher up. That's right. So you can see, yeah, uh, Benny just coming up, pushes on the jack, but nudges James's bowl forward. So and you see the crowd watching on from the sidelines. James reaching here then. Yep. Oh, yep. Jack's into yep. the ditch. So 
that's not going to be easy to get to because uh, unless they do play the forehand coming down because the backhand it just goes goes away from you. It does. I think they if if he plays a forehand here, you can look to just push it out to the edge of the mat, and it will it will sort of it's stick out a bit. Benny thinking about this, you can see he's just weighing up. Yeah, yes. I think he's chosen the right way. Yeah, I mean, his bowls will finish at the end across, but he's got a big area to draw into. Just got to reach. Just wants to run past. Oh, wow. Wow. Took a nice little touch off the Yeah, the ball. I think. Uh, so again, that is the shot ball, and again, um, Benny, sorry, is lying shot and is now lying match. So again, this could be the last bowl of the match. James, I'm sure, will just let her try and push his bowl dead. Yeah, he's got to take the, the run the risk of leaving an easier shot for for Benny. But Controlled weight this time. Will it go dead? Yeah, yes, it just has. done enough. Oof, James yeah, turns away. away. Nice expression on James's face there. Just he he played it with a bit more of a controlled weight, but it was just enough to kill the bowl. And you can see here, the bowl comes up off his own bowl, which took a bit of the weight out, but just enough to kill Benny's bowl. And so he's finished well, actually. <laughs> yeah, he's holding two now. So again, decision for Benny. Does he look to just draw up, try and get the shot? If not, a second bowl. He's looking at this. These the toucher here because Benny's uh, to uh, the, the fairest bowl is, is a toucher, but actually James's bowl that's in front of that is also a toucher. So he's running a little bit of a risk if he doesn't quite catch this right. He could be putting James in for free. Yeah, so he's going to be playing the backhand. So might just be drawing, but yeah. if he's playing white, it's dangerous. And yeah, just, just a draw. Uh, pace doesn't look too bad. This again, this is for the match. Oh, <sighs> great effort! It was a good effort. Good appreciation from the crowd. I'm sure James's heart was in his mouth there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yes, this is the this is the final limb. So just having a look. Looks like two from here, but I uh, yeah, don't know. Yeah, so just uh, Jonathan Payne from Belgium just coming on to give Phil a hand to do the measure. But certainly we are going to go to the last end. Yeah, and I think James would have taken that. Uh, so you see here, on. good effort from Benny. Just crept past, but a foot foot heavy. Wanted a little touch off of uh, the bowl. I think would have been would have been perfect actually. Yep. So that. That was two to uh, James, which is the target he really was looking for there. I think he would have taken the way the the, the game started out when he was, well, what was he down? He was a fair few down early on. I think he would have taken this going to the last end, needing two to take it to a tie break. Yeah, he was eight shots down. He's taken six on the last three ends now, so has reduced the deficit. You can see there, six, uh, six shots on the last three ends. And uh, well and truly back in the match. So he's stuck with a middle jack again. Again, a wise decision, really, for the last end, because you need all your bowls in play. Absolutely. Good start, this. It is. Just past the jack. Right onto the centre line. Benny's positioning with this forehand, just been, been under, it looks like this will be under as yeah, well. Yeah, it was just over middle green, so again, the pace is pretty good, but again, just drifting on that narrow side, so a bit of an experience showing. Yeah, he's not um, uh, he's not put the pressure on with that first bowl, and, and, and given James an opportunity here, especially on this last end, where he doesn't really want to put, be putting more pressure than he needs to on himself, really. Yeah. Again, James just missing the line too, but... Uh, Again, two more balls to come from each of them after it this one. It still looked under to me when he let go of this. It is. Yeah, Benny's talking to himself and knows it. Well. Yeah, shake of the head. James just asking now. Yep, that's if it's two. Phil confirms. Mm. 
That looked to be a better road. It does. Looks like a better line. He's very good here. Yeah, it's a very good ball. Wow. Well, he's really shown his experience now. And uh, obviously been in this position many times before. Benny not wasting any time. Has now switched to the backhand. Again, all he needs really good second ball. He's good Looking here. Close. Yeah, it's a good ball. That is second shot. So James really now has to convert a shot with his... And again, you can be brave here and try and go for more. You see that Benny's ball just coming in, nudging the jack, six a second. But, you know, James has got the back position. He's, he, he's going to have to at least reach this. Well, I would fancy just dropping down on the backhand, sitting in there, take the, get the two, a safe two, and leave no shot for Benny with his last ball. That's right. You could be brave and try and go for three, but actually I, I think the percentages are just a draw. Yeah, I mean, if, he, if he's dead on draw, sits in front of the jack, he's going to leave himself in a strong position because obviously the back balls are his, so any movement will be for him anyway. As you can see there, any movement back will be for James. So, But the difficulty with that is playing a dead weight draw. Yeah. So here we go. He's Let's reaching. see what he can do. Yeah, he's making sure he's up. He's going to chip his own, I think. He's chipped it out. That's it. And that is the Benny's match. won the match, so it's one shot to Benny. He takes it to 11-8. Much appreciation from the crowd. And Benny Schrogan is your Norwegian Open champion 2018. Fantastic result against the England national singles champion James Trott. We're going to stay here with this and just do the presentations while you're with us. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage this afternoon. Uh, we'll hand over to Phil Mills who will uh, make the presentation to the players. So you can't hear the uh, on the those of you that are watching us here on Facebook Live. Phil will just be doing the presentations now. Just a big thank you to all of you that have tuned in to watch us here today. We hope you've enjoyed the coverage. So. I'll give him the right medal. So a little bit of fun there. <laughs> Phil uh, introducing Benny as the uh, the silver medalist. It's been a long day. <laughs> there we go. And the trophy. 2018 Norwegian Open champion, Benny Shorgren. And you can see James Trott, silver medalist. <laughs> and the runner-up, James Trott of England, very popular player on the Players Tour. Again, a big thank you to all of those who have stayed to watch the matches here on Facebook Live. Thank you for joining us, and uh, yeah, we'll see you all again at our next competition, which will be the World Fours Masters, which will be coming to you in Chelmsford, in Essex, on the 1st of December. And that's closely followed by the World Pairs Masters on the 2nd of December. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you all again very soon. <laughs>